Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can set up react.js in VS Code and create our first react.js project. First, we will need to install node. If you already have node installed in your system, you can skip ahead to the part where node is finished installing. So first go to this URL. I'll have this in the description and then click on download node.js. Now, if the home page is changed, what you can do is click on download here. And from here, click pre-built installer and the defaults for you will be selected. Now just click on download node.js. Once the download is complete, you can just click on open file and your setup wizard will open. Click on next, accept the terms, click next again. And this is where your node.js will be installed. If you want to install it in some other directory, you can just click on change and choose any other directory. You can navigate by clicking this button and you can create a new folder by clicking this button. But I'll choose to install it in the default directory. Click on next, click next again, and no need to check this. Click next, and finally click on install, and your installation will start. If you are asked, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Click on yes. Once the installation is complete, just click on finish. Now let's go ahead and create your first React project. Go to any directory where you want to create your React project. So I'll go inside tree and go inside React projects. Here, you need to open terminal. So a quick shortcut in Windows is just click on this address bar and press CMD here and hit enter and command prompt will open inside this directory. Now to create a React project, you need to enter this command npx create React app and then your app name. Let's just call it my app, hit enter. And now the creation of your first React project has started. After it has been successfully created, we will open this in Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, this folder has already been created. Now, while this is processing, I'll just minimize this and you can open Visual Studio Code and navigate to this directory to open this project. Or again, a quick shortcut in Windows is just press on this address bar here and type CMD again, hit enter. And again, a new terminal will open inside this directory. Now you can just type code and then period or full stop, whatever you call it, hit enter. And now Visual Studio Code will open and that project will be selected by default. If you had open Visual Studio Code manually, you can just go to file and click on open folder and then navigate to your project and click on select folder and you have opened your first React project. Now let's wait till the creation is complete and then we will run this project. So it took a couple of minutes and the first project is complete, but it is giving me some errors for dependency. But let's try to run this and let's see if it runs because this is a quick tutorial and we will probably not need to fix these issues. So the command to run the project is npm and start. Okay, so I'm running it here inside this terminal. So this is not where you're supposed to run this. You need to run this command inside this my app folder, right? So uh, since we have already opened Visual Studio Code, we'll close this and do it from inside Visual Studio Code. So open terminal in your Visual Studio Code. And here, if you are showing PowerShell, you can change this to command prompt because in PowerShell, there can be some errors. And now we are inside my app, right? This is your project. Now run npm and start. Hit enter. And as you can see, your first project is now building and it will run after a few minutes. So now our server is running and it has automatically opened the browser where it is loading the React app. This is how you can install and set up React.js in Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.